Hi folks, my name is Tris, and this is No Boilerplate, where I focus on fast, technical videos. It's been a little over two years since my last Oxidize Your Command Line video, and it's about time for an update. Today, I have 30 Rust-powered command line tools to show you that have replaced and extended my old standards, in addition to a few non-standard ones that I didn't know I needed. I dedicate my video scripts to the public domain. Everything you see here, script, links, and images are part of a markdown document available freely at my website and on GitHub at the above address. I'm delighted to say that this video is sponsored by friend of the channel, Let's Get Rusty. In addition to being a fellow Rust YouTuber, Bogdan runs Rust training both corporate and personal with a new cohort starting next month at time of recording. Visit letsgetrusty.com slash startwithtris, linked in the pinned comment to find out more about the training. And thanks so much to Let's Get Rusty for sponsoring this video. Part one. Out with the old. These are the tools I've replaced with modern oxidized versions. They are mostly drop-in replacements that do the job harder, better, faster, or stronger than the old counterparts. We'll start with the very foundation of my daily computing. UUtils are a replacement for all GNU core utils. If you're on any operating system, including Windows, you can grab the binary over at GitHub or find it packaged for your package manager. I've installed the Nixos UUtils Core Utils No Prefix package, which swaps out all of my system's core utils for aliases to UUtils version. And it's all been fine so far. I am delighted to finally include Fish on this list because the Rust rewrite finished in February. Though a non standard shell, you wouldn't write shell scripts in it, it's lovely for interactive use. It's got the following batteries included syntax highlighting everywhere. 24-bit true color, the state of the art in terminal technology. It suggests commands as you type based on history and completions, just like a web browser. And it even has web-based configuration. Set your colors and view functions, variables, and history all from a web page if you want. I love Fish because I install and everything is right out of the box. The way I think about shells is that Z shell is bash with plugins and Fish is Z shell with plugins. New Shell is a pure Rust radical take on what a shell can do. It does this by breaking from the Unix standard of plain text being the common data format into a more programming inspired world of structured data. One day I will be powerful enough to wield new, but until then I keep coming back to fish. Ripgrep, the first Rust program I ever knowingly used. It's the fastest grepper in town. It has smart defaults that ignore many files we aren't usually concerned with, even reading the git ignore file to do so. FD is a fast, pretty drop-in replacement for find with a much more modern UX and pretty colors. Bat, the cat with wings, beautiful syntax highlighting of basically every file type. It's safe to replace cat with it because if bat detects it is being used non-interactively, like in a pipe, it falls back to standard plain text behavior. Ezer, a modern replacement for LS. Alias LS to Ezer and you get a drop-in replacement that supports colors and git status. It's a fork of EXA, which stopped being developed in 2021. Zoxide, a smarter CD command for your terminal. Add it to your shell config. This is fish. All other shells work too. Then start jumping to previously used folders by relative path. Zoxide knows where you've been. So instead of typing CD config nvim lua, you can just type CD lua from anywhere and it'll usually do what you want. XH, a friendly and fast tool for sending HTTP requests. A simpler interface than curl with pretty printed output. It's a Rust rewrite of the excellent HTTPy, which I used for years in my Python era. Zalige, a terminal workspace with batteries included. This is a Tmux slash screen replacement. Great defaults, great UI, great plugin community. Git UI, fast terminal UI for Git. It's a great UI for when you want to do lots of small operations and don't want to repeat yourself using the regular Git command. It seems to me like a nice Rust port of lazy Git, which is also a great option. DU Dust, a more intuitive version of DU. It's a graphical disk analyzer with a pretty UI. On my machine, 600 gigs analyzed in two seconds compared to 30 for DU. Dua, another graphical disk use analyzer, but this one is interactive. It's just as fast as DU Dust. It's just me running this channel, and I'm so grateful to everyone for supporting me on this wild adventure. I'm trying something new this video. I'm going to stream a Q&A session on my Discord this Sunday, the 25th of May at 8pm London time. Everyone who supports me on Patreon at any level is invited. Also, if you'd like to see and give feedback on my videos up to a week early, as well as get private Discord access and even your name in the credits, it would be very kind of you to check my Patreon. I'm also offering a limited number of mentoring slots. If you'd like one-to-one -one tuition on personal organization, Rust, creative production, web tech, or anything that I talk about in my videos, do sign up and let's chat. Part two, in with the new. Though you might not have an existing app to replace, I recommend the following tools to anyone because they're cool and they'll make your life more joyful. Starship, the minimal, fast, and infinitely customizable prompt for any shell. Because the programs used to generate your shell prompt will be executed all the time when using the terminal, 
You need them to be fast. What Starship does is straight up not possible in slower languages. Not with acceptable latency, anyway. Yaza is a command line file manager, like the venerable Ranger. It's fast, backgrounds long operations like copying large files, it's got vim bindings, and file preview for images, PDFs, and many more, if used with modern terminals like Kitty or Ghosty, or fairly modern terminals like Alacrity or Wes. Hyperfine is a very clever benchmarking tool built by people who understand statistics. It runs the benched command a sensible number of times to eliminate run-to-run -run variants, with an initial discarded run to warm up any caches. Friend of the channel Faster Than Lime lived up to their name when they recommended this to me. Evil Helix, bringing the Helix editor to the evil side. The normal version of Helix is a batteries-included text editor in a single binary. It's got built-in LSP, tree sitter, syntax highlighting, fuzzy finder, and beautiful themes. It's a modal editor, like Vim, but its motions are kind of backwards compared to what we're used to. Specifically, it uses the selection action model, so it's word delete rather than delete word. I agree that Vim has the motions backwards if you think about it, but all of my programs have Vim bindings, such as my video editor and browser, so for me, practicality beats purity. Evil Helix is a fork of Helix mostly putting the keyboard bindings back to the standard Vim way. I keep it around for when I break my NeoVim config. Bacon is an essential part of my Rust toolchain, and has been for years. It watches files for changes, then reruns the requested cargo command, such as test or clippy. Though your editor hopefully will be using LSP or similar to get compiler warnings and errors, I find the Rust compiler output very complementary and sometimes better than the editor's output. I recommend keeping Bacon Clippy running in a little window whenever you write Rust. Cargo Info. I spend my whole life trying to avoid opening a web browser, and Cargo Info helps me in this Sisyphean endeavour. Supply it with the name of a crate, like Rayon here, and you get a description and some metadata to help you decide if you're going to Cargo add it to your project. F-select. Find files with SQL-like queries. I don't know about you, but I can't remember all of the unusual or advanced find parameters. I have to look them up every time. But you know what I can remember? SQL syntax. If you're anything like me, fselect might be handy. ncspot, an ncurse's Spotify client, written in Rust. The regular Spotify is an Electron app that uses hundreds of megabytes of memory just to play a three megabyte track. On my machine, ncspot uses two megs of memory. Enough said. Rusty Man, a command line viewer for Rustdoc documentation. It's man pages for Rust crates. Though you can read all the Rust documentation offline on your machine using Bugs Bunny's favorite command, rustupdoc, that requires a web browser. And as you know, I try not to open Firefox when I'm working. Thankfully, not only does Rusty Man work with the standard library, but also if you run it inside a cargo project, every crate you have installed, all offline. That cargo downloads docs as well as code when you install a crate is a very good design decision. Delta, a syntax highlighting pager for Git. Delta is primarily designed to be a prettier backend for Git diff and friends. Add it to your Git config, and whenever Git shows files, it will use Delta as its pager. You can, however, as you see here, use it as a nicer version of the diff command for regular interactive use. Ripgrep all. RGA wraps ripgrep to search inside container files like zips. Here, I'm grepping inside an EPUB of the script of my spookiest podcast, Modem Prometheus. As you can see, by default, just like ripgrep, incidences of the query are highlighted in color and line context is shown. Toki, count your code quickly. Toki recursively counts lines of code in a project and summarizes by language. Handy for your projects readme. WikiTUI, a simple and easy to use Wikipedia text user interface. Another way to avoid the web browser. I'm developing somewhat of a pattern here, aren't I? If you want to look something up quickly and not get distracted, WikiTUI is something I use every day. Just a command runner. Just is a sane, modern make replacement for running and chaining commands in your project. It produces detailed error messages and avoids makes idiosyncrasies. So debugging a just file is easier and less surprising than debugging a make file. Interestingly, the format of a just file is so similar to a make file that for simple projects, you can use both interchangeably. Mask is another command runner like just and make, but the config file is a standard markdown file, as you see here. This is a really neat trick, as it means your documentation can serve as your code and vice versa. This is my preferred command runner for all my projects. Mprox, TUI for running multiple processes. Mprox provides a simple way to run a bunch of long running commands and monitor their output. You might use this to run dev databases or web servers, perhaps set up queues or caching. It feels Docker Compose adjacent to me. In this example, I've got a cargo clippy watcher here, but you shouldn't do that. You should use bacon, which I demoed earlier. And finally, present term, the tool you've been looking at for 10 minutes. 
Up until a few videos ago, I had been using Obsidian's built-in slide system, based on Reveal.js and extended by plugins. However, I have joyfully replaced this with PresentTerm. In another win for open data, my slides are still in Markdown, and I still edit them with Obsidian or Vim or whatever I feel like. As you have seen, Present Term supports both images and arbitrary font sizes. This magic enabled by either the Kitty Image Protocol, which Ghosty also supports, or Sixel, which I understand is a slightly less good protocol, but is supported in Alacrity and others too. Indeed, this graphical support extends to mermaid diagrams and LaTeX typesetting. Though for accessibility reasons, my videos don't use animation, once you try Present Term for yourself, you'll find animations and useful split list support. I love present term, but I'm not sponsored by it. In fact, I sponsor this project, and if you make use of it, I encourage you to do the same. Honourable mentions. I couldn't fit everything I wanted into the video today. Here are some that didn't quite make the cut, but are still cool. I'd love to know your favourite CLI tools, even if they're not written in Rust. Do let me know. Thank you. If you'd like to support my channel, get early ad-free and tracking-free videos, your name in the credits, or one-to-one -one mentoring, head to my Patreon. If you're interested in transhumanism and hope punk, please check out my weekly sci-fi audio fiction podcast, Lost Terminal. Season 3 of the Phosphine Catalogue is coming soon. If you like mysteries and art, check it out. Transcripts and compile check markdown source code are available on namtile.com and github, links in the description, and corrections are in the pinned errata comment. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you on Discord.